On February 16th, Dr. Lanou announced that Whit Davis Principal Derek Maxwell would become the interim principal for Cedar Shoals High School. We decided to sit down and interview him about his plans for Cedar Shoals. Well, I started my career teaching science at Bernie Harris Lyons Middle School. For, I worked there for five years. I went to work for the central office for a year. Mm -hmm. Then I returned as assistant principal at Bernie Harris Lyons for four more years. And then most recently, I've been the principal at Whit Davis Elementary School right down the road. I'd ask myself, you know, I see 1,800, 2,200 students, however many that we have here, that are needing leadership right now or needing someone to help move their school forward and deserve that. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a no-brainer for me. And I, I felt like I could be a part of making that, uh, you know, moving that forward and making things better. I, it's kind of educators don't really have a choice sometimes. Yeah. You, when you see the ability to do something good and when you, you, when, you, when you have the desire, it just comes together. And I mean, that's I'm here for as long as I'm allowed and while I'm here I'm going to do as much as I can to move things forward. Uh, but what I noticed is there seems to be a, a real desire and a real sense of urgency to get back on track. Mm -hmm. um, I'm seeing and hearing from students that they're ready to move things forward. We're ready to turn it, you know, some of the negative cloud that looms over us right now, turn it around and get some positive things. Because I foresee other kids, you know, there's some things that I hear going on, like some, one of the most prevalent issues to be that seem Kids don't always go to class when they're supposed to. That's something that we're going to hit head on. We want to make sure that um, students are going to class. No one teaches in the hallway, so no one learns in the hallway. So we really don't have any reason to be in the hallway when it's not class change. So let's get students where they're supposed to be. Let's not, let's not let any educational gaps that exist grow any wider. Let's close those gaps. So we got to do that by getting kids in class on time and delivering high-quality instruction. Uh, what, what we've got to do is realize that no event defines a community. No de event defines a school. There are too many staff members. There's too many students doing what they need to be doing every day, working hard to let, you know, an isolated incident overshadow the entire school and the entire community. It's not fair um, to everyone, in including the victim. Mm -hmm. uh, I can promise that to the parents if I'm aware I will do something about it. I, and I would, obviously, you know, we don't want anything to slip through the cracks. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we'll be, you know, we've had some discussions already about, about any time anything remotely serious happens that immediately all administrators are immediately notified and an entire plan of action is thought out. And, extreme, you know, being very di diligent and notifying any parties at the district, if there's police organizations involved, notifying all those in writing simultaneously to ensure that we have a consistent response to anything. What I have to have faith in and what I have to believe in is that the adults that already exist in this building have the capacity and ability and desire and willingness and all those characteristics to move things forward. I have to you know, leverage that leadership amongst them and bring out their strengths and, and let's all work together to, to remediate our weaknesses that we all have and let's uh, create a common vision and all work towards that to move Cedar forward. Uh, the students and parents, I'm, I'm here for you. Uh, my goal is to get out and make personal connections with as many students as fast as possible while determining what are the what things I most need to work on from a principal standpoint. Um, I, I do not know how the interim status will play out. Mm -hmm. I do know that while I'm here, I plan on making as many connections with students and parents in the community as possible and using those relationships to move us forward. We look ahead as Mr. Maxwell steps in as interim principal at Cedar Shoals and hopes that he can bring back the idea that we are all one Cedar.